in this lecture we will talk about semantic relations uh, which were initiated in the previous lecture and we'll talk further about them some of the relations which uh, are additional to the ones we we discussed in the last lecture we'll begin with hyponymy hyponymy tells us about the relationship of inclusion 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 of meaning of the words into other words uh, let's say uh, for example if the meanings of a word are included in the meanings of another word that means they are into a relationship of hyponymy in this regard we can cite a very common example we all have heard the words uh, like dog and cat when we say dog and cat the meanings of dog and cat include the meaning meaning of a more general term uh, which is known as animal both are animals and when we say dog dog is necessarily an animal so in this situation the meaning of animal are included in the meanings of dog so we can say dog is a hyponym of animal uh, the more general term of of whose meaning are included uh, in a hyponym is called super superordinate term much of the vocabulary in any language is usually linked with each other uh, based on such a relationship and the relationships of inclusion usually form the taxonomy uh, in the language and we can find various families or hierarchies of uh, the words based on such taxonomies they in short create a network hierarchical network of words which help us uh, to understand and explain the meanings of various linguistic items let's have a look at this diagram if you just look at this diagram you see in horizontal shape or relationship we have the taxonomies in which the sister terms belonging to same category or field of knowledge are mentioned and in a vertical form hyponymic relations are mentioned we can say that hyponymy is a vertical relationship uh, for example saw is hyponymy of tool because when we say saw saw includes the meaning of tool but we can see that hammer saw chisel are the sister terms similarly hacksaw jigsaw are the sister terms or the taxonomy terms because they relate to the same thing they b belong to the same family in order to explain some hyponymic relations here we can see that we have a superordinate term tool here and we got hammer and saw there who belong to tool when we say saw saw includes the meaning of tool similarly hammer also includes the meaning of tool and then we can see we have hacksaw and jigsaw jigsaw both include the meaning of saw so we can say that jigsaw and hacksaw are are the hyponyms of the word saw moving forward we can see there can be uh, some other subclasses of taxonomies which tells us about various relationship between words and one a uh, few of these include the relationships of adult and young and male and female uh, in case of adult and young we can cite the examples like male uh, like dog puppy because puppy is is the young one and dog is the adult one Th then we have have cat kitten uh, cow and calf and in male female relation we can have dog bitch bull cow male female so in in such a, in such classifications uh, we also have some meaning uh, which relate to each other and which help us understanding the meaning of each other moving forward hyponymy specifically focuses on the meanings of inclusion as i said earlier when the meanings of one word are included in the meanings of another and in this case we can cite some more examples when we say uh, dog dog includes the meaning of animal and when we say poodle poodle includes uh, the meaning of dog as well as animal then we can say vegetable and carrot the relationship between carrot and vegetable is also of, hip of hyponymy because carrot includes the meaning of vegetable similarly uh, rose and flower and banyan and tree banyan includes the meaning of tree the concept of inclusion involved uh, in this relationship is the idea that that if something or if an object is a rose 
it is necessarily a flower. So the meaning of flower is included in the meaning of rose or rose is a hyponym of flower. In short, we can say uh, wherever there would be uh, some relationship of inclusion between two words, we can call it uh, the relationship of hyponymy.